Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are probably, if everything works according to plan, get started with, uh, or get back onto the main storyline. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to go ahead and sell a couple things. I'm on my own station here, and I just realized that we have a trader on our own station that we can use to sell stuff. So let's go over to the trader's corner here. Got a few things in my inventory to sell. And then I'll kind of show you where we are we are where we are with uh, our can finances here. Here you go. Okay, so let's see. We have some Arg new stick that we can sell. We have two programmable field arrays. We'll sell one of those. We're hanging on to the other one because we need to use it to make seta. I still have to figure out how that works. Um, we're going to keep all of the training stuff. We have 45 bandonite crystals. We have three hydraulic pumps. We have 10 Menelaean crystals. And we have two micro motors. Okay, and that gives us a total of 296,000 bank. Good profit to you. Okay, and we also uh, we also have a, some illegal stuff that we'll probably need to go to the uh, the pirate station to sell. Uh, but let's go back to the Sentinel right now. And I want to show you where we're at with our our vulture and with Cali trading and there's something else too that occurred to me and if you guys have mentioned this in the comments in the last episode I have not seen those comments yet because I've recorded Falcon this Sentinel. episode um, well not technically back to back because it was the day before but um, yeah I just haven't seen those comments yet uh, but it occurred to me that we should be able to give Cali some of the other lessons to get her up to an overall uh, three stars which then we can put her on, you know, just, you know, the, the actual auto trading. However, that being said, she's been doing quite well for us. So if we go to here and we look at our transaction log, I guess it was already on there. You can see that every trade that she has made has, has brought us up a little bit more and more. And so, um, you know, down here at Lower on, she was making like 16,000, 30,000, a couple of really low ones. This is me selling stuff, 64,000, 125,000. But her best profit that she's made us so far uh, was 177,000. Um, so, yeah, she's really doing good. And our, our total money is almost up to two, uh, close to 2 million now. Um, but, you know, some of these these really big numbers are are from me, you know, just trading stuff to the trader. And she's expecting another 229000 from her next uh, trade that she's going to do. If we go here and we go to... No, not there, sorry. We go here. And we go to here and select the Vulture Signal and go... Uh, Sentinel, rather, and go to information she's currently delivering microchips or rather i'm sorry silicone rifles to the uh, <laughs> wafers silicon wafers to the microchip factory come on mouth work um and yeah so she's been doing really good but the one thing that i've noticed is she's not really she doesn't really seem to be gaining levels um a after you know several hours really of her trading and so we need to get her to an overall three stars so what we're going to do is we're going to go to here we're going to go to personnel we're going to contact kelly and we're going to give her a seminar of crew management okay so after doing that What does that do for her now? Um, K 
Kelly. That still doesn't get her up to an overall three stars. Hmm. So I guess there's just nothing we can do about that until she just naturally gets to an overall three stars. I mean, did that even do anything at all, though? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure all this out, guys. <laughs> Uh, but it sucks that we can't, you know, that we can't do regular auto trading, uh, you know, because we're we're um, stuck by the three star thing. One of you guys told me in in the comments that there's mods that help with this, and my you know my response to that was I kind of wanted to do my first run through of X4 in vanilla. But I don't know if this if this turns out to be a real major pain in the butt, we might I might consider doing some mods. But at this point, we're gonna try and continue, you know, making a go at it with vanilla. The other thing I want to show you guys is we're at plus nine rep now with Talati Company. Once we hit ten, I believe, yeah, it does it says that right there. Once we hit ten, we become honorary company shareholder. And that means we can get a military equipment and ship license, which means we can get higher level ships and missiles for our ship and then I think free traders association member means we'll probably get better prices from them as well so you know that's just mostly hap well it, part part of it's happened because I've been killing enemies in their space but I think the majority of this has come just from Cali's trading for us uh, we're at plus eight with Argon Federation so same kind of thing here uh, we're getting close we're just two points away from plus ten and once we get plus 10 with them, then we can get a police license and, you know, get uh, access to the military uh, equipment, which means better weapons for us, better ships, missiles, that sort of thing. All right. So uh, anyway, we are at the point now where I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get into the mining business since we now have enough capital uh, to invest in mining. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go to here, and uh, we want to go to uh, 18 billion, and we want to look at the wharf, and we want to go to buy ships. Okay, so we want to go to size M, and we're looking at a Manarina Mineral Sentinel Miner. Um, this will have 12,000 storage space. So again, we're going to go to Lottie rather than Argon for this. And let's go ahead and see what is a, what is a high preset going to cost us? Woo! Lordy, it's going to cost us almost all of the money we have. Oh, look at that. Callie must have just made her sale. So we're now over 2 million. Um, so we could do this actually because of the fact that most of her most of her purchases have been around 70,000 I think so as long as we keep around 70,000 um, you know in our overhead she'll she can still keep trading and you know filling up her hold okay but let's take a quick look at this and see uh, if we want to stick with everything that the high preset gives us all right, so that gives us a combat mark three engine. Let's stick with that for now. Uh, gives us the combat thrusters. I would say let's go with the all around though. In fact, for that matter too, let's go with the all around mark threes for this too. For shields, we have mark two shields on both sides, which is what we want. Uh, we want a Mark II mining drill, which is good. We'll keep that. Turrets, we should have uh, Mark. It looks like Mark I's the only option they give us for mining turrets. We have that on both sides. Okay, that's good. For software, we don't need any docking computers for this because it's pretty much going to be AI that's going to run this. Uh, we don't need the Mark II long range scanner. We don't need the police scanner. Um, I don't think we need the trading computer extension for this either. Unless, does that help them? 
That might help with finding the best buy prices. So maybe we'll keep that on there. No consumables necessary. Uh, we do not need Marines. However, if we put a full crew on there, it's going to make the ship more efficient. That is the theory anyways. And that brings us then to 1.4 million, which we can most certainly afford. Why does that say 1x mining drill? We should have... Oh, right, because we can only put one on there. I was thinking turrets. Okay. So let's save this <coughs> as high preset OG. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and add this to the shopping list. Confirm the order. And we're just now going to have to wait until the wharf gets probably what it needs is hull parts and maybe even Callie herself will be able to deliver those hull parts uh, to get that done and then what we'll do is we will probably bring that miner down to oh let's see here uh, as you can see I've done a little bit of exploration I'm, I, I haven't gone too crazy with it um, but this sector here which is a pirate sector has a lot of asteroids so we could potentially send it up there but I don't know that might be a bit risky might be a little safer to at least start them out maybe in one of the grand exchange sectors because there's a ton of ore in really all three of these sectors. Um, the thing, though, is we want to make sure that there is a place to sell, which means we need either a... Okay, so there's a silicon refinery there. Uh, let's go to trade here. So silicon wafers. The Tlaudionium factory will buy ore. But the silicon factory should buy silicon. Yeah, right. Okay. So that'll buy silicon. And the Teladionium factory will buy ore. So there's already two places in Grand Exchange 4 that will purchase that stuff from us. And there's a place, there's a Teladionium factory in Grand Exchange 3. So what I think we'll do is we'll get, we'll get our ore uh, or our miner working in um, in Grand Exchange, in, in basically in all in the Grand Exchange sectors. And uh, yeah, because there's lots of, lots of um, ore and silicon in this place. Okay, cool. So, we just need to wait now until that ship is completed. If we go to here and go to property. Yeah, we're just basically waiting for the parts which is probably my guess is it's gonna it needs hull parts before it can complete it <laughs> okay so while that's happening we are going to proceed with the main storyline because we've been doing uh, a lot of side stuff uh which is great but i am feeling like i want to start the main storyline so let's go ahead and take command of our ship here Oh, there is another announcement I want to make to you guys, too. Um, not exactly sure when this video is going to come out. But um, I'm basically going to be away uh, out of town. I'm going to New York for the week of the 27th 
uh, basically the last week in March. I'm going to be uh, on a business trip, and I won't be back till April 3rd. So sometime around the 3rd, 4th, or maybe even 5th uh, will be the next video that I'll be able to release um, after this video. Probably. Unless I can get one more out. So um, I'm, all that's to say I'm that there's going to be a little bit of a lull in the videos until I get back. And then when I get back, we will um, continue with this series. So just letting everybody know that in case you're wondering if... Um, you know, what's going on if there's a few days in between videos. Okay, cool. So that being said, let's go ahead and go to our missions. Oh, I do have some missions too that I've I've kind of gathered, but I haven't done any of them yet. Um, But I think, you know, we'll keep these, but I think what I want to do right now is I want to, I want to get back to the main mission. So let's set this to the active mission. And uh, if we look at the briefing, it wants us to go to Black Hole Sun 4. Okay, so let's do it. Black Hole Sun 4. Here we go. Disengage. All right, looks like our mining ship is finished. So what we want to do is uh, 18 billion. Yeah, so he's right here. All right, let's look at this. Uh, it's got a almost one star pilot. I wonder though, do we need a one star pilot to do mining? Oh, here we go, it's local auto mine. Okay, yeah. So this is what we want. Um, But I think what we want to do is we want to fly him or it, yeah, him, her, whatever, to down to Grand Exchange first. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's fly them down to here. And when they get there, then we'll get them started with local auto mining. Okay, let's continue on with our quest. Okay, so our dude is pretty much here. So what we want to do is we want to go to local auto mine. And we want to choose or and silicon. Oh, we can't do both. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, let's just do silicon then. And it's going to stay in Grand Exchange 4. And then I guess we just click confirm. And is that all we get need to do then? Let's see if he does anything. Command, wait. Default behavior is low bottom mine, silicon in grand exchange. Fly and wait. It's like he's still on the old command, so maybe what we need to do is remove that command. Okay, now he's moving. Yeah, we just needed to remove the fly and wait command first. Okay, so he is targeting He's like going to the super highway to leave Grand Exchange 4. 
So he's going to gather resources in Grand Exchange 1. Anchor space, Grand Exchange 4. So I guess that means... He can go into other sectors, or at least subsectors. Maybe it just means he he has to stay within Grand Exchange itself, but he can go amongst these three subsectors, which is actually not a bad thing. That's good because it gives him a little more, you know, territory to cover. I guess that's what that means. But he's decided to go to Grand Exchange 1 to gather his resources. Very interesting. I just want to kind of watch and see what he does here before we, we ourselves proceed. All right, guys, I am back. And um, I had to actually go AFK after I left you uh, earlier. And I wouldn't, didn't get back into the game for the rest of the day. Uh, and that was yesterday, and now uh, today I had to... Are you going to just run right into that asteroid autopilot? Guess not. Um, I had to... I had to leave for several hours and, and wasn't able to play, so what I did is I started the game up, docked my ship at a station, and just let it run uh, in AFK mode. And as a result, we now have um, 6.7 million... Dollars, first of all, our, our credits, I should say. Entering system. And also, billion. we have um, Cali has now reached three star pilot status, or not pilot status, overall status. Um, so she just finished selling a load of microchips. And if we look at the, uh, the transaction log here, you can see that um, she has really been knocking it out of the park in terms of, you know, making sales for us here. Um, and some of her largest transactions, like she, here's, here's the one from, you know, two, for 252,000 and just one thingy. So yeah, she's done really well. My miner has made some sales, but it's really slow. So I don't know if it's because I have it on silicon. Um, I'm thinking about maybe changing the miner over to ore and seeing how that does we, we won't make as much money off of ore but it will um but maybe you know maybe they'll be able to, to sell more quickly i'm not really sure about that in fact let me look at something here yeah he's got a full he's got a full um thing of silicon right now so i'm assuming he's Looking for a place to sell it, maybe? Calculating parameters is what it currently Auto says. Pilot. Disengaged. All right, well, let's let him do his thing, but I might switch him over to ore after he sells the silicon. Either that or we'll, we'll just sell it for him. Uh, but let's work on Cali first. And by the way, um, unfortunately, we're not going to get to the storyline in the rest of this episode. It's just the timing isn't going to work. But it is my plan to do that in the next episode. Um, now, the other good thing here is that we now have rep. Uh, we have plus 13 with Argon, and we have plus 10 with Talati Company, which means we can now um, advance to the next levels with both of those, which will open up advanced weaponry, advanced ships, and some other uh, perks for us. So we want to get that taken care of too. Um, and right now I am in, uh, what section am I in? I'm in, da -da 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 -da. where am I? <laughs> uh, here, go like this. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're we're here in 18 billion. But what we need to do is we need to find the an uh ambassador or the, no, the faction representative for Talati Company. Yeah, sorry. I I get mixed up with Talati Company and Ministry of Finance. They're both Talati, but they're two separate factions. Um, so 
since this since 18 billion is a let me see something here uh, let's go information yeah 18 billion is owned by ministry of finance so we need to what about this station here that's also owned by ministry of finance what about this quantum tube fact okay that's owned by Talati company so why don't we go there because we need to find out where the faction representatives for Talati Company so that we can get our promotion. And we have missions for that, too. Um, so I'm going to tell Autopilot to take us there. Autopilot engaged. And if we look at our missions, yeah, we have promotion to Friend of the Federation for Argon and promotion to Honorary Company shareholder, a shareholder rather, with Talati Company. So we want to do those right away because that's going to open up some better stuff for us. Okay, so while we're working on that, um, system. let's Memory once again um, go to Cali. And we should now be able to tell her to do universal auto trading. Auto. Um, or advanced auto trade. System. Oh, good. Okay. Billion. So it is now available to us. Great. So we're going to select advanced auto trade for her. Um, and then we're going to add. I mean, let's just add everything. Why not? Right? Well, actually, hold on. We might not want to add to the illicit stuff for now. I kind of want her to, for now, well, if we do Maja Dust and Snails, I think that's Paranid stuff. It would help us to start getting some rep with Paranid. So we should kind of just let her go all over the place. Um, I think space fuel is like whiskey. I know space weed is illegal in some places. Just trying to remember what else here might be illicit graphene I think the rest of this stuff is all legit I'm not sure about the space fuel but I know the space weed is illegal in argon space well you know what? I, I guess I shouldn't say that it used to be in the old game so let's leave those two things out but let her go ahead and just trade in everything else and have her do her thing okay her anchor space though I want her anchor space to be in Uh, 18 billion let's say maximum gate distance to buy okay so that's set oh so we can only go up to th three gates for that huh we can't go any higher than that maybe she needs to have a higher rank to go higher well if that's the case then she's not going to have access to Maja dust and snails we need to we need to keep it stuff that's in the area. Soja beans and soja hus um, are not around here. Sunrise flowers could be because that's a talati. Swamp flat is talati. Turk components water. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, let's just go with those wares then. I I didn't realize she was restricted to only up to three jumps. Um. Okay, well let's confirm that then, and that should put her. Ready to go do her thing. Oh, we need to remove this dock and wait command too. Okay. So she should start up trading now. Um, but if she can only go th up to three gates, um, her anchor space is 18 billion. I don't really want to go up and into the pirate places. So she could go here up to Hatikva's Choice. You know, the thing is, is she can't get to Argon Prime if she can only go three jumps. One. Oh, yeah, she can. One, two, three. Yeah, she can get to Argon Prime. Okay. One, two, three. She can get to Black Hole Sun. Uh, one, two, one, two, 
yeah, okay. I think that's that's probably good for her. Okay, so is she she's moving? What is she doing? Yeah, she's just set to free trading. So okay, so she's doing her thing. Uh, and the good news is that this again opens up more more product for her. And we'll let her we'll let her go. Okay, now we have uh, we have money to do some things with, but I think what I want to do first is I want to do these I want to do these promotion ceremonies. Um, so let's get those done first. So what we need to do is we need to go to Wait a minute, did we jump into that next system? Oh, shoot, I thought I started auto, autopilot. autopilot. I guess I didn't. So we need to go into Memory of Profit, which is a Talati company system, and ask them where their representative is. So let's do that first, and then after we do Talati, we're going to run over to Argon and do the same thing at Argon. Now, I know the Argon rep is here in Argon Prime, and the way you can tell that is you look for this little icon with a crown thingy and that's where where the rep is and it also puts like a little different type of border around the station that they happen to reside in so this is this is the representative for Entering for Hatikva memory of profit uh, if we go to profit center alpha I believe this is the representative for Ministry of Finance Autopilot. Entering system. 18 billion. Pretty sure it is, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are we back in 18 billion? Okay, autopilot. you know what? Engage. I think this autopilot's a little confused. Entering system. Memory of profit. What the hell? Autopilot disengaged. <laughs> Entering system. 18 billion. Okay. Cut it out, ship. Okay, we are back under control now. Entering system. Memory of profit. Okay, so this is where we want to go to a well, here. Yeah, I guess that's the closest station. Or maybe this medical one is the closest. Let's go here instead. Oh, you know what it might have happened is she was trying, or she, well, I say she because it's a female voice. The autopilot was probably trying to go to that station, and they accidentally went back through the gate again. That's my guess. Okay, so we're just going to go here to find directions to the Talati Company faction representative. Okay, let's go to the manager's office. Hello, greetings. Okay. All right, where can I find the way to your faction representative? Sending you information now. Find Yalos, Yalos, Decinos the sixth. Okay. So that's what we shall do. Let's get back on our ship here. Okay, so where is the guidance taking us? It wants us to go that way. Okay, let's go that way. Autopilot engaged. All right, while well, the autopilot hopefully takes us where we need to go without screwing stuff up, let's go back to our miner. And what are they currently doing? Okay, they. Still says they're calculating parameters. All right, we might have to take over for them and sell the silicon. I think the microchip factory would buy silicon. Yeah, they'll buy silicon wafers for 423. Um, is there anybody else somewhat nearby that will do a better price than that? Let's go look up here. Not there. 
Nobody there. What about over in Argon space? You'll pay 258. Oh wow, their price is way better. 423. Okay, yeah, let's just tell him to sell at this microchip factory. Entering system. Right promise. Okay, so I'm going to I'm I'm not I'm not sure why he can't figure that out. Maybe there's not enough room. Hmm. Free mining. Okay, well here, let's do this. Let's um Remove all orders and assignments. The profits will be mine. And I want you to go to this microchip factory and I want you to trade and I want you to sell all of your silicon wafers. Do we have wafers or do we have silicon raw silicon? We have raw silicon. Okay, no no wonder that's not jiving. All right, we just need to find a place to sell silicon. There we go. Okay. That's more like it. Now, who... Okay, you'll buy silicon for 112 at that refinery. What about up here? Nothing up there. Nothing there. I don't know if 127 is a good price or not. Okay, it looks like that's the only place that will pur purchase the silicon. Um, the refinery. Okay, so we want to tell him to trade with here and sell all of the silicon that you have. Looks like he's not going to be able to get rid of all of it, but let's at least sell what he's got. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch him to ore because, again, if we look at the transaction log... He's made, he's only made a very few sales. I mean, hardly any at all, which means he's just, I don't know why that is. He's probably waiting around. So maybe he'll be able to move more with ore, even though he won't make as much money per sale. Ooh, we got a lot of red around here. Okay, so it looks like this is the station we need to go to. Um, what is going on with all this red? Do we have a Xenon invasion going on? Oh yeah, we do. They're trying to build a defense platform. How interesting. Okay, well... We probably better not get mixed up on that right at the moment. Docking granted. All right. Where's our docking? Right here. Oh, you know what else I want to do? I want to get a a docking computer for our ship. Just a just a level one do or a, yeah, a tier one, mark one. We can afford it now, and we'll make docking just a little bit easier. We don't have to go. We just have to get within range, and then it just automatically takes over. We don't have to do all this lining up business. I got just a tear. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We were already close enough. 
successfully docked. Um, but it doesn't look like we can get that here. Greetings, pilot. I represent the well-respected Taladi Trade Guild, and I have a lucrative proposition for you. That if sounds interested. Sounds promising. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Representative of Office Talati Company. Okay. Receive rank. We've been watching your actions with great interest and believe you are worth investing in. I'm pleased to present you with a new rank amongst our company. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank. So if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record and our trust, I'm sure we don't have to worry about that. Nope. I hope you find these rewards fitting to the work you've done. May they bring you profit. Once again, I give you thanks for your efforts. We look forward to continuing our partnership in the future. Good profit to you. All right, nice. So we are now an honorary company shareholder. And if we look in the uh, factions window under Talati Company, it's now opened up intermediate module license, equipment license, a military equipment license, military ship license, and the Free Traders Association membership, whatever that means. Um, so now we want to do the same thing with Argon. Uh, which will open up all this. Plus, we can purchase a police license from the Argon. The Talati company does not issue police licenses. Maybe it's because they have been kind of known to, <laughs> to deal in illicit goods. Okay, so we are back okay. in our Sentinel. ship. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Argon Prime now and also do the ceremony with them. So let's... Yeah, those guys are in a big fight now. Uh, we're we're not really equipped to to fight right now. Not in this ship. We we need to get we need to get a better ship before we do that. We will do that, but now is not the time. So let's start guidance to object and let's get out of here. And hopefully we can get out of here without getting blown up. this direction but let's kind of stay away from all of that red so all right I will see you guys in Argon Prime docking granted all right guys we are in Argon Prime here we're pleased to welcome you aboard Okay, let's go talk to the faction representative here. And we need to, I want to start looking for... Hello there. Um, Good luck out there. Other pilots to hire too. Now that we have a little bit more money to afford the better ones. Representative of Argonne Federation. Faction representative Rinda Fisty. I think we've talked to her before. Okay, receive rank. We've been watching your work with great interest and wanted to reward you for it. I'm pleased to present you with a new rank amongst our organization. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank, so if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record, I'm sure we won't have to worry about that. Nope. I hope you find these rewards fit into the work you've done and make the most of them. Oh, and you may also find that certain organizations under our jurisdiction now have interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, thank you for your efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Good luck out there. All right, nice. So we've been promoted and we can now purchase a police license, uh, which we want to do. Um, and that'll cost us 156000 
select and what this basically does is it allows us to scan ships but more importantly we get more money for killing enemy ships in Oregon space that's really the main reason why Good I want it. Out there. Okay cool so we are now Hello an there. Argon cop. Hey, what are you? I want to see here. Stop, lady. Stop. Okay, she doesn't want to stop. Stop. Okay, talk. Hello there. She's got engineering morale. Um she's not actually too bad. Oh man, goodness. She's going to cost over a million to hire though. Son of a gun. She's already almost To three on engineering and morale. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that's not bad, but good luck out there. I'm not quite ready to be dropping a cool mill on a pilot yet. Uh, we'll get to that point, of course, but not quite there yet. Um. Okay. So let's see. Now that we have. Uh, ship dealership. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, now that we have some more money, we either need to look at uh, getting better weapons on Hello our there. own ship or possibly buying something better, like maybe a heavy fighter. Hello there. So let's look at that first. If we go S and then we go... We could either get a Vanguard or a Quasar. Excuse me, an Eclipse Vanguard. Okay. So that's kind of like a... A little bit like a Nova. It's got four hard points. Uh, what is the high preset? Oh, dang! 8.3 million. Lordy! That's expensive. Um, okay, what about the Quasar Vanguard? I actually like the way this ship looks. This is a cool looking ship. Um, it also has four hard points. Oh my goodness, it's also 8.2 million at the high preset. Wow. That's expensive, you guys. That's like more than I mean we only have 6.7 million at the moment I think that's a little bit more than we want to take on at the moment if we look at frigates like the Cerberus Vanguard see that's only 1.4 but what's the high preset seven yeah 7.9 mil I was looking at these earlier Hello. though and this actually allows you to dock one fighter on the ship, which is super useful. Okay, so it's got two weapon hard points and four turret hard points. Alright, what's the other option? That's the Cerberus frigate. There's also the Minotaur... A uh, gunboat. And then a high preset on that is 7 million. Alright, so the same thing. Two hard points, four turrets, but no ability to dock ships. That's kind of cool looking, though. Here's the cockpit right there. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, if we... Let's just play with this for a minute. So it's got the Mark III combat engines. Got the Mark III combat thrusters, which is fine. Got the Mark II shields in both slots. What does it have for weapons? Ion blasters. Um, I 
Aren't these four taking shields down? I need to I need to read up on on the weapons and how they all work. If we switched out the ion blasters for tracking launchers. Oh, that brings the price price way down. Look at that. That brings it down to 3.3 .3 million. Gosh, you know what? That makes me wonder. Let's go back and look at the the frigate again then. All right. It's using beam emitters for weapons. But again, if we put a tracking launcher that brings the price down to 4.5 million. Hello there. Hello. Okay, so we got the combat engines, we got the combat thrusters, we got max shields, and there's three of them. We put the missile launchers on. It's got flak turrets. Mark one flak turrets. All of these turrets are Mark 1. I don't know what's better. Beam turrets, bolt turrets, flak turrets. Probably. I mean, flak's usually good for anti-aircraft. Shard pulse plasma. Yeah, I'd, I, I need, I'd have to read up on that, too. But they're all flak turrets. Okay. Well, assuming we stuck with that... We wouldn't need the docking Mark II, but we would do the Mark I software. We don't need the expensive long-range scanner. Uh, we want a police scanner, and we probably want a trading computer extension so we can manage trades from from this ship, because this will be kind of like our, our command center. Probably not do Marines for now, but if we beefed up our crew... Yeah, we can afford to beef up the crew, so get a, get a full complement of crew there. We could do this, you guys. And the cool thing is, is we can still dock the Falcon um, with this ship and still have the Falcon available to us. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to save this as High Preset OG. I want to see what Talati offers as well before we commit to this. Because it still gives us plenty of money to sell. Uh, you know, to keep keep selling uh, with our Vulture. Now, the other option, though, is, is that we buy some more Vultures instead of this for now. Um, and really get the money going. So, we you know, we need to think about that, too. But... Uh, here, let me go back to the map, and I want to go to turn all that off. Let's go back to Eonimus, uh, Eonimus Zura. No, we need to find a, a Talati Company shipyard uh, or or wharf. This is Ministry of Finance, I think. No, that's Talati Company. Okay. So, buy ships, Hello medium. There. Okay, so you've got the Osprey Frigate or the Peregrine Gunboat. The Gunboat's not going to have ship docking, so that's out of the picture for now. Let's look at the Osprey Vanguard. Let's do high preset. But then once again, go through here. For hardpoint weapons... A muon charger. Um, let's just do missile launcher. Docking Mark One, long range Mark One. Police scanner, 
and all that's good. Okay. No Marines. I know we need Marines for later. We will get them, but just for, not for now. Okay, so that brings the price to 68. So this is like 2 mil more than the Argon, but is it also tougher is the thing. Kind of like the look of the Argon, Argon one better. Um, here, let's do this. Let's save this as high preset OG. Save as new. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ship comparison. And if we go to size M and we go to Cerberus Vanguard, I think was the frigate. And high preset OG. Okay, add that. And then we go medium and we go to... Osprey Sentinel Frigate. Oh, that must have been an Osprey Vanguard Frigate. I preset OG. Confirm. Okay, so let's compare the two. So once again, Talati has almost twice the hull. Little more shield. At the expense of a little more delay in shield recharge rate. It's just so much of a tougher ship. And we could potentially do the same thing that we did before where we we could put the Argon engines on it. It's got more container storage, more room for crew, more room for units. I don't even know what units means. But it's going to cost us around two million more, though, too. Which I'm willing to do to get all, what will ultimately be ultimately be a better ship. All right, I need to give this some thought. I need to give this some thought. So what I think we're going to do, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. And I'm going to think about this. And then in the plan for the next episode will be... The, the main plan for the next episode will be for us to uh, continue the main storyline. If I decide not to do this, then what I will do instead is I'll probably buy maybe two more vultures. And get one of them, you know, working more over here in the Argon Hatikva area and I'll probably open up some more Paranid and get one of them working in Paranid space so that we can start building up rep with Paranid because they've got some good ships too that I wouldn't mind um, getting a hold of. Now in the old game I actually preferred the Pyramid Demeter which is what it was called at the time um, the, the uh, freighter ship because it had the second most cargo space, but it was also, I think, the fastest um, trading ship in the game at the time. And that may still be the case, too. So so we need to start opening up some Paranid territory and getting some trading going in there so that we can build rep with the Paranid. All right, so anyway, I will give this some thought. And when we come back in the next episode, we will... Uh, you'll know what we're going to do. <laughs> but the but the overall goal will be for us to start uh, resume the main storyline. Also, just want to remind you once again that I am going to be gone out of town uh, for this coming week. I'll be back April 3rd, and then shortly thereafter we'll resume the series. So there'll, there will probably be a few days uh, towards the end of the time that I'm gone that I, there won't be any new videos, but we will resume the series when we get back. All right, with that being said, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.